Hello, my name is Lucinda Ham. I'm the Senior Health Program Specialist and Quality Assurance Supervisor for Missouri Cancer Registry. Today, we are going to be talking about cancer registry text. The slides in this program were created by Babette Langeneckert, CTR Senior Data Coordinator of Education. Acknowledgements. The Missouri Cancer Registry and Research Center is supported in part by a cooperative agreement between the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services and a surveillance contract between DHSS and the University of Missouri. Today's objectives include why text is so important, NCRA informational abstracts, cancer reporters getting the scoop, NACER abbreviation list, examples of good and bad text, and text documentation from a quality reviewer's perspective. Why is text so important? An abstract summarizes in a detailed and succinct way the story of each patient's cancer diagnosis and treatment. The codes are a way to universally compare data, but the text is essential to back up those codes. Text documentation must always include patient race, age, and sex, primary site, histology, extent of disease, treatment, and any other positive or negative findings that validate the primary site, histology, extent of disease, and treatment. Text documentation should always include the dates of the event, and please note when the dates are estimated, the location, including the facility, physician's office, or other location where the event occurred, the type of the event, whether it be an imaging study, procedure, lab, treatment, etc., description of the event to include positive or negative results, a summary of the event, which would include as much detail as possible, document treatment plan, even if treatment is not initiated as originally planned, include any treatment interruptions, delays, cancellations, etc. Nearly all coded items in the abstract need text support. Proper text documentation allows for the review and correction of abstracts without access to the patient's actual medical record. The central registry frequently receives abstracts from multiple facilities that must be consolidated into one case. When we receive abstracts from different hospitals for the same tumor, but the codes are different, Text helps us know which facilities supplied the correct code. When MCR QA reviewers receive incoming abstracts, they must decide if it's the same person with the same primary, a same person or different primary, or a new patient. The next step for the same person, same primary abstracts is to consolidate information from the incoming and existing records to create the most accurate account of the primary being reported. The combined information forms the consolidated record which contains the information MCR submits to MPCR and NACER. Thus, abstracts must contain corroborating text in order for the central registry to assure that what is entered into the database is the most accurate information for each case reported. The operative concept here is corroborating. That is, text must provide the rationale for selecting the codes assigned to the primary site, histology, extent of disease, and treatment fields. If coding in an abstract is in question, the only way to defend or justify the code is via the text. In other words, if you do not want to be questioned about the validity or quality of your coding, Include text to clearly justify the rationale for the code. Do-overs cost everyone time and money.
NCRA Informational Abstracts, the National Cancer Registrar's Association Education Committee created a series of free informational abstracts for common cancers. These are available as cancer site-specific abstracts, which provide an outline to follow when determining what text to include. They can be found at http www.cancerregistryeducation.org. Cancer Reporters Getting the Scoop Cancer reporting is a lot like news reporting. The objective of both is to convey the facts and must be backed up by reliable documentation. Notice how these six questions form the framework for telling a story or giving an account of the facts you are being asked to supply. You can record the necessary details without writing a great American novel. Who, what, and when. We understand that typos happen. Who. Often we'll see in the sex field a one for male when the text states that the patient is female. If this case goes directly into the database, we may not find the coding error for quite some time, if ever. What do I mean by text that mirrors the codes? Think of text entries as labels confirming the codes entered into the data fields. When. Include in text the dates for all diagnostic and treatment events. This allows the reviewer to determine the chronology of events. Where, why, and how. Where. Write down where each event occurred. Why. State why you selected any unusual, generic, or unknown code, such as his name really is Sue. How. State how you know the facts you are coding. For example, patient refused treatment per clinic note. Include only information that the registry is authorized to collect. You do not need to record drug use, for example. Think about HIPAA. NACER abbreviation list. Abbreviations are often used by cancer registrars to shorten the written narratives entered into text fields. However, abbreviations can generate confusion since abbreviations may vary among different institutions. The NACER recommended abbreviations listings were developed for cancer abstractors and the agencies to which they submit their data. When abstracting into text fields, the use of abbreviations should be limited to those that appear on these lists whenever practical. A good resource is the NACER Data Dictionary at datadictionary.nacer.org. The link is on the slide. Do not use non-standard or stylistic shorthand. Now we will go over some examples of good and bad text. Let's look at text in regard to the diagnostic procedures and the physical exam. Enter the findings from the physical exams which are pertinent to the primary being reported, such as the size and location of any obvious lesions or palpable masses, the size and location of any palpable lymphadenopathy, or the absence of palpable nodes. For lymphomas, the presence of any B symptoms, such as weight loss, fever, or night sweats. For the prostate, please enter digital rectal exam results. For melanomas, enter the diameter of the primary lesion, and if no primary skin lesion is found, please state that. State the patient's age, race, and sex, Spanish or Hispanic ethnicity, if the patient's first name is not typical for the sex, please make a note that sex has been verified as correct. Let's take a look at the examples below. As you can see, the bad text only has breast mass documented. The good text goes into quite a bit more detail. Now let's look at text in regards to x-rays or scans. 
state the results of the imaging studies used to diagnose and or stage the primary. Please include the date and facility where the test was done, name of the exam including the body parts being imaged, size and or location of any positive findings that support the values coded for the primary site, summary stage or surgery to the primary site or other sites, and when no positive findings are found, please state so. Please review the examples below of bad and good text. So what should you document when a scope is performed? State the results of including negative findings that support values coded for the primary site, summary stage, surgery to primary sites, or other sites. Please also include the date and facility where the exam was performed, name of the exam and location and nature of tumor involvement, and note whether a biopsy was taken during that procedure and what the results showed. Look below to see an example of bad text where it just shows a colonoscopy showed a mass and the good text shows the date, the type of procedure, where it was performed, where it was, and what the results were. So what lab test results should you enter in the text box? Record only the findings relevant to confirming the diagnosis or summary stage. For sites where lab tests don't have a particular bearing on diagnosis or stage, enter NA. Types of cases where lab results are pertinent are listed below. For example, for colon and rectum, enter the CEA. For breast, enter ERA, PRA, HER2, or FISH. For prostate, enter the PSA. We see the examples below of bad text. For example, the bad text includes just simply PSA positive. The good text includes the date and the results of each test. For surgery text, please state the date and the facility where the surgical procedure was done and the name of the procedure as shown in the STORE 2021 site-specific surgery code. Look below at a bad text example that just states colon resection, where the good example shows the date, the facility name, and the full name of the procedure. Now let's talk about pathology text. Describe the pathology findings from all procedures that serve to confirm the diagnosis date, histology, summary stage, and surgery of primary site, surgery of other site, and scope of regional lymph node surgery. Please include the date and the facility where the procedure was performed, the type of specimen, whether it be a biopsy or resection, and anatomical source of tissue. Histology type stated in the final diagnosis from the pathology report, tumor size and extent, number of regional lymph nodes examined and number of positive nodes, status of non-primary tissue submitted, whether it was involved or not involved, status of final surgical margins, and any comments by the pathologist that clarifies the final diagnosis. Here is an example of bad pathology text which only states adenocarcinoma. The good pathology text, however, states the date, the facility, the procedure performed, the extent of the disease, the lymph nodes positive and lymph nodes examined, and any additional procedures performed. Now let's talk about staging text. Inner findings that are the basis for each value coded in the MCR required stage fields. The SEER Summary Stage 2018 can be documented in this text field. Please see the example below for bad and good staging text. The text remarks field can be used to describe information coded but not described elsewhere in text. For example, smoking and alcohol use, 
personal cancer history and family cancer history, unavailable information, unusual circumstances regarding treatment, timing can be discussed here. This field can also be used for overflow text from other fields. Please see the example below. When text is good, it adds clarity to the case. In the radiation text fields for radiation beam and radiation other, state the treatment dates, modality, dose, volumes or sites treated, and the place the RT was given. If the treatment was planned but it is unknown whether it was given, state this in the text. If no RT was given, state the reason. Please see the examples below of bad radiation text and good radiation text. In the text boxes for chemo, hormone, biological response modifier, and other treatment, state the treatment dates, agents given, and place the treatment was given. If the treatment was planned, but is unknown whether it was given, state this in the text. If no treatment was given, state the reason. Look below for a good example of treatment text. Next, we will discuss text documentation from a quality reviewer's perspective. Quality text. Please include relevant to this cancer information only in the text boxes. The patient on the slide has synchronous bilateral breast primaries. Sequence 1 is in the left breast and sequence 2 is in the right breast. Both primaries were diagnosed on 12521 from bilateral breast mammograms. The patient had bilateral core biopsies followed by bilateral mastectomies and was found to have invasive ductal carcinoma in both breasts. If you are abstracting a left breast cancer, please only include information pertaining to the left breast malignancy in the text. Conversely, if you are abstracting a right breast cancer, include only information pertaining to the right breast malignancy in the text. The text highlighted in red shouldn't have been included in the text for that primary. Sometimes it can be very confusing to read text when the information documented is for a primary site other than the one being abstracted. Duplicate text. If information is missing or when no information is available, please use NA, not available, unknown, or none. Keep text concise. Avoid including irrelevant information. Document in the appropriate area of the abstract. Do not repeat information from section to section. On the slide is an example of an abstract with excessive text. A patient with prostate cancer was put on active surveillance. It is appropriate to put the following statement in one treatment box and NA in the other treatment boxes. To put all the same information in all the treatment boxes is irrelevant and excessive. In closing, CYA. CYA means cover your abstract. Document, document, document. This slide includes a list of resources we used for this presentation. If you have any questions, please call the Missouri Cancer Registry Helpline at 1-800-392-2829. Thank you for viewing this YouTube presentation.